If I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. No, you wouldn't That's have done not that who before. I am. That's no. not what I believe. It is the reality the left has but created. I, I, I'm, I'm, what? And that's what? why I think this yeah, They don't want to take accountability, man. What? They, they, that's they, not they, who I am. You it, just said it. Who is it? Your mouth. Yeah. Man. Oh, you guys are Join me for a night of sit down comedy over at the Broadway Comedy Club, March 15th. That's in New York, of course. We're gonna be back in the Red Room and tickets are on sale right now. Double Toasted Live in Los Angeles is gonna be Saturday, April 27th for a night of comedy games and that after party. Like I said, I don't wanna get political on here. I don't think it is. I think this is still in the realm of entertainment because what we're talking about, this stems from us talking about Dave Chappelle hanging out with Elon Musk. And that came up because Elon or Dave Chappelle was talking about Cat Williams. And then we talked about, uh, you know, because Dave Chappelle was saying, why is Cat Williams out there picking on black comedians and trying to take, take, you know, take, take away from their money and their business and their livelihood? Why, why is he not supporting them? And it was like Cat Williams wasn't doing it. He was talking about people in his circle yeah. that, have, he, that he, at least he feels have slighted him. And by the way, he did mention some white comedians in there, too. He talked about Joe Rogan, mm -hmm. you know, and also did not mention all the black comedians that he does support right. and came to their defense. Mm -hmm. But we were talking. I said. So why is Dave Chappelle going to come out here talking about somebody not supporting black people when Dave Chappelle is hanging out with who I feel is a racist? I'm sorry. I think Elon Musk is a racist. And one of the things that did not help the situation is that. So a lot of people might remember that story about that incident on a Boeing airplane where the, the, the emergency door got loose and busted open. Now, Thank God nobody flew out. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Everybody was safe. Everything is fine. But these right wing nut jobs immediately said, you know why that door opened, right? It's because they hired too many brown and black people. These people too dumb to be working on these on this technology. See, this is what now they, they didn't say it that way, but they did say, well, this is what happens when diversity and inclusion uh, is, is, when you include it in the workplace, when oh. you force it on people. Oh my God. My response was, so all those times that Elon Musk, his cars blew up. <laughs> <laughs> every time one of them Teslas made, no, we had a couple of Teslas kill people. The hell with that. Every time that there was a plane crash before we had any black pilots. Mm -hmm. So you mean to tell me that that was all because of, you know, what, what was your excuse for that right. before diversity was the part of the equation? Yeah. What it is, people, is that they're saying, one, we're just used to seeing white people in these positions. And two, we don't like it when you get it. We feel like you're taking away from us. Also, uh, you know, we just don't like things taken away from us. But we'll just go ahead and put this on top of there. If nothing else, our excuse is, and you got to admit it, you brown and black people, y'all too stupid for these jobs. You ain't, you know, you just don't have the mental capacity to do it, no matter how much experience you get. And you, and you think I'm exaggerating. I, I, I don't, but <laughs> please tell me more. <laughs> I don't mean, I don't know what other else, what, what else I can, you know, uh, 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 what conclusion I can come to this if they're saying diversity sure. is the reason why we don't want this. Right. And I've heard this argument over and over again. Uh, and, and if that doesn't prove my point right there, well... Maybe this will. And by the way, the reason why I brought in Elon Musk because he, he hates his whole diversity. You know, yeah. D, D, e, D, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's the main one to say, go woke, go broke. Uh, when people stop saying it, he's still saying it. And yeah, he hates yeah d diversity and inclusion. Uh, but he's not racist. Uh, he just he just doesn't like this. The other side made him racist. Yeah, this, so if y'all think I'm exaggerating, I mean, well, there's some people who would, t <laughs> they'll be more direct. Elon Musk, he'll, he puts some, put some stuff out there every now and then, but usually it's in likes. You know, he's, he's, he's showing his support for these kind of comments. Uh, comments that come from people like this guy, Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk is one of these right wing nut jobs who tries to, who says a bunch of racist shit and then turns around and says, but that's not me. You know, it's the liberal media that's made me this way. It's, all, it's, it's you. Mm. No, I did, you did this. I mean, you're the one that's racist. Otherwise, I'd, you know, I'd be, I'd, I'd, I, would, I, I wouldn't have these thoughts and feelings.
Why'd you put that in my head? <laughs> and it all comes from this uh, this whole diversity, but he feels like it's this forced diversity initiative. And I got a whole, well, you know, a, 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 a Twitter, uh, formerly, or I'm sorry, X, formerly Twitter. I have a, a, a clip right here. So uh, you can see what they're already talking about it. DEI in the cockpit. And I forgot what show that this is on. Uh, I, What's the cockpit got to do with the emergency door? <laughs> well, this is, they're, they're moving up talking about the whole plane now. Okay. Mm. Talking about black people don't need to do nothing but sit down and shut up on these plane. <laughs> By the way, sit down in e economy, you know, and mm. coach. Don't try, don't get up here in first class now. Mm. <laughs> in our, 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 our business class, y'all, you know, why y'all trying to encroach on our seats? Yeah. Taking our spaces. But, uh, Forgot what show this is, but anyway, this is Charlie Kirk and uh, and some other guys talking about DEI and workplaces, especially with manufacturing, and talking about how now, hey, look, it's not even about race. I mean, we're talking about danger. You I mean if you put these people in these positions, they're going to make inferior products, and it's going to kill people. We're just trying to save lives. If I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. No, you wouldn't That's have done not that who before. I am. That's no. not what I believe. It is the reality the left has but created. I, I, I'm, I'm, what? And that's what? why I think this yeah, They don't want to take accountability, man. What? They, they, that's they, not they, who I am. You it, just said it. Who is it? <laughs> You're, you're <laughs> off. Yeah. That's not who I am. But who, who is it then? Yeah. It, it's the liberal media. You know, they're no, the ones no. that push for what they're thinking is they push for diversity, which means that they try to put in people who get in on lower standards. So because we've had this affirmative action of the workplace now, we're hiring unqualified people because they're being forced in there. No, you know, people, no nobody's getting hired if he's not qualified. If the <laughs> on the plane, if he's if he is flying the plane, I guarantee he's qualified. Yeah. He ain't there because he's a, because <laughs> right. of some because of a uh, you know because of a of a racial uh, of a race hire. Right. You know, he's not an affirmative action well, hire. People don't like the way people don't understand free speech. They don't understand how affirmative action works. It's saying if you have two people who are qualified, you will go who are equally qualified. You will go with the one of color or from a marginalized group uh, over the, the white person who is, has many, many other opportunities. And they're picking people who they feel are qualified, yeah. just didn't have the opportunities. But, yeah. this, but that's not even the case here. They, but, they make it sound like, well, we got to hire a black pilot. So I guess go, go talk to the janitor over there and see, <laughs> see, see, see if he's willing to do it. Yeah. <laughs> What it comes down to, it comes down to why racism exists in the first place. We are just not used to seeing certain people in certain oh, yeah. positions mm -hmm. and we don't like it. We don't like this change. It doesn't <laughs> reflect me, you know, and, and, I, and I've seen this before. This has gone on and on. I, look, if, if that man is flying that plane, he's qualified. <laughs> all right. As you say, ain't putting no I black mean, janitors yeah, in there. Yeah, anything like well, that. If, I, if I see a black pilot, I, I don't feel as secure. Well, that's that's a you problem. Yeah, right. it's not yeah. yeah, yeah, you can leave. Yeah, go take a bus. <laughs> yeah, take a yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not no no one is hiring anybody because of a diversity hire. Okay, they're hiring people because they're qualified. No one's gonna put somebody. Nobody's gonna put somebody in charge of a plane <laughs> just to fill a slot. Exactly. All right, you know, just it's not. No one's gonna put people in, in danger it's, it's like seriously, that. Seriously, like like like, just do the work and just just piece that out for yourself. Yeah, somebody un, unqualified, which could wreck the plane, which could get get them sued. There's there's, <laughs> yeah. there's, there's, there's yeah. no upside to that. Well, it's gonna make us look bad if we don't put a black person in the yeah. cockpit. <laughs> No, come on. <laughs> yeah. you know? Put the broom down. You, yeah. you got it. Yeah. Like they took a person who made a D on his test and been like, well, you got to make him look better. Come on, man. Come on and fly the plane. I mean, man. D is passing, yeah. so. I mean, yeah, technically you pass. So yeah. Come on. I'm looking at this man and thinking, I've seen this before. And, and like I said, man, they're trying to pass it off on, well, it's the diversity hires that are doing this. I ain't doing that. No one's doing that. No one's putting in charge, putting anybody in charge of a of some you know dangerous machinery, right. just because you know they need to look good. Okay, no one no one's yeah, doing that. <laughs> but the other thing is that you know you're just trying to own up to your racism. Just stop mm -hmm. doing it. That's a goddamn shame that y'all made me respect the Klan. <laughs> I know where you stand with them. Yeah, yeah, they would clear. They would tell you. They, they would tell you clearly what they are about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a damn shame that you made me respect Nazis out here. Mm -hmm. Nazis would tell you straight up, "No, nah, I don't like you." Yeah, right. I, I want to get rid of all your kind, but you know where I'm coming from. 
Shit, I can respect honesty. Start, you know, take accountability for your shit. Exactly. <laughs> That's not me, bro. <laughs> I, right, only, he just I only said hear it. you saying it. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, he just said it. I know. <laughs> but but, but that, 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 that's not me. It's them. You know. It's, oh, it's everybody but you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know. I, I, that's a first. I ain't never seen that before. I ain't never seen somebody do a sentence <laughs> and then like be like, no, I didn't say that. Yeah. In the next sentence. And all of them are talking about, no, it's the liberals that made us feel like this. And by the way, I ain't trying to say liberals versus conservatives. I'm not, I mean, this. I mean, we beyond that. We're talking about uh, dumb versus smart. We're talking right. about, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, cowards and bitches, man. You know, they sit up here. They, yeah. They, 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 yeah. You know, these are people who, you know, own up to your shit, man. They try to make it so political that they think that they can pass off their racism to somebody else. By the way, it's a, that is a tactic itself to make yourself look like you're not racist so you can be racist. Mm -hmm. You know, make it socially acceptable <laughs> so you don't look like the bad guy. Because if you don't like the bad guy, then your policies and the way you think can be accepted more widely. There's a whole lot of people just not wanting to see themselves as the bad guy. Yeah. They, and they will yeah. do mental gymnastics to make that not so and, yeah. and rationalize everything they do. And I've seen this before. Before it, it got down to brown and black people flying planes, it was women. I saw before these, 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 uh, yeah, these, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these, these, yeah, these, these, uh, these, yeah, these assholes here, man. Before they start saying all of this, um, Matt Charlie Kirk has a big ass head. Yeah, he's a man. I'll tell you who I want. <laughs> he's you like know, the Watcher. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I'll tell you who I want flying a plane when I see them. Somebody look like that, <laughs> right? Somebody whose eyes are too close together <laughs> and got a big ass head. <laughs> I know he's got he's got that swoop <laughs> trying to hide. Yeah, that trying forehead. to hide that forehead. <laughs> That's a six head. His his head is this big and his face is this small. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I said, I've been looking at this and be like, who's that inbred son of a bitch flying the plane? Yeah, right. <laughs> who hired this damn You're like, uh uh, uh yeah. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> when they start hiring from the hills, have I? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You know, I, if I fuck the race, if I saw a dude look like that, they could, I don't care what race they are. I saw something like that, I'd be like, let me off this goddamn plane. I'd be like, uh, I'd be, I don't know about the rest of you. <laughs> Ain't real. Ain't real. Yeah. <laughs> Should I believe in final destination? Let me out! <laughs> <laughs> no, hell no. Nah. But he trying to talk about somebody flying a plane. I never believe you could fly a plane. <laughs> Shit, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust you to fly a plane in a video game. <laughs> He's got to get that head through the opening. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never seen no grown man look like a little boy like this. <laughs> you gonna have the nerve to sit up here and talk about how somebody looked flying the plane. <laughs> What's that big head eight-year-old trying to, fly this, <laughs> trying to fly this plane, man? <laughs> now, who let their son in the cockpit? <laughs> I've seen this before. When women start flying planes, and this, you don't even want to get into some hypocrisy, there was a dude who was uh, pretty much a pimp. And these so-called family value conservatives were willing to like put this guy into political office. He was the guy that ran the cat house over in uh over uh, in Las no, Vegas. In Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Dennis, what's his name? I forgot his last name. I forgot name. his last name, yeah, but this, yeah. this dude. Yeah, he was pretty much a pimp. He ran a cat house. And, and these conservatives were they who, you know, uh, are all about family values. They forgot that this man, you know, was selling women, selling ass and selling sick uh, sex. They were like, they were 100% fine with him going in the office. But he was on a plane one time and there was a woman uh, that walked out and she was the pilot. And he straight up t told one of his hoes, he said, he looked at her and he said, uh, you know, I'd feel a whole lot better if that was a man flying the plane. And of course, this dumb ass girl was like, <laughs> yeah, I know I would too. And I was just like, you piece of shit. I was like, wow, you know, not every, not every woman can suck dick for a living, you know? I mean, every now and then a woman wants to actually do something with their lives that's legit and professional. You know, this, this guy saw women as nothing but, yeah, sure. you know, sexualized objects. Of course. Yeah, so I've seen this before with different, different scenarios, man. When women have started flying planes, men, of all races were like, I don't know about that. I, women uh, in the cockpit, they don't know what they're doing. They, you know, they can't even drive a, they can't they can't even even drive a car. <laughs> you know, we're gonna trust them to fly a plane. So I've seen this before in different areas. Yeah, man, so you know, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. know, man. All I'm saying is, they, you know, these people today, they feel, they feel so, they feel, they, they feel so justified in putting their, in this political environment and putting their, these racist opinions out there, but yet not willing to take accountability for it. They're trying to still pass themselves off as good people. I'm not like that. Man, just say you don't like black people and brown people and you don't like women. Just say that shit. Yeah. Just please. 
Please, you know, the, the, uh, you know, I, I you know, I'm the not stupid. The world is changing, yeah. and I don't feel like changing with it. Exactly, I'm not stupid. So stop making yourself look stupid. I mean, if you can, in this case, <laughs> in this case, that's a lost cause. I mean, you just born looking stupid, but, <laughs> but everybody else, just quit, you know, you're just making yourself look bad. You look at how worse than you are really are. Yeah. You know, you're not not only you're a racist, but now you're making yourself like a dumb racist. Stop, just stop. I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, that was it. That was why I went. Oh, okay. <laughs>